Hello and welcome to a mini trading tutorial from OptionsAtoZ.com, the website dedicated to teaching investors the art and science of options trading. In this video, we're going to show you how to place buy and sell orders in the Thinkorswim platform. Thinkorswim is a brokerage firm that specializes in options trading and provides you with the industry's most powerful options trading software, which is absolutely free just for opening an account. And you're not limited to just options. You can trade stocks, mutual funds, futures, commodities, and currencies. For more information, you can visit their website at www.thinkorswim.com. Before we talk about placing buy and sell orders, there are a few topics we must cover first as it will help you to understand the trades once I show you how to place them in the Thinkorswim platform. Whenever you enter an order, whether it is for stocks, options, or any other asset, there are generally five pieces of information that you must convey to the broker. First of all, you must determine which side of the trade you're on. That is, are you buying or selling? Second, you need to state a symbol so that the broker knows which stock, or in the case of options, which month and strike you're purchasing. Third, the broker needs to know how many shares or contracts you're trading. Fourth, you must specify a price and that can be in the form of a market order or a limit order, and I'll talk more about that shortly. Finally, you need to state a time that the order is to remain open, which is called the time in force, often abbreviated as TIF, and that can be good just for the day or good till canceled, also called a GTC order. A day order is good only for the trading day, while a GTC order remains open until it is filled or until you cancel it. Of these five fields, the first three are self-explanatory, but the last two are the ones that cause the most confusion, price and time and force. So let's take a closer look at what they mean. When you place an order, you must determine the way in which price is handled, and you really have two ways to do that. You can place a market order or a limit order. If you place a market order, it guarantees that the order will be executed. However, it does not guarantee the price at which you will be filled. On the other hand, if you place a limit order, it guarantees the price, but in return does not guarantee the execution. To finalize the trade, you must specify the time the order is in force, and you have two choices here as well. You can make your order good for the day or good till canceled. If you mark it as a day order, it will remain open only for the current trading day. And that means if the order is not filled, then it is canceled at the end of the trading day. And if you select good till canceled, the order remains open until it is filled or until you cancel it. Now that you have a better understanding of what these key terms mean, let's take a look at the Thinkorswim platform and see just how versatile and easy it is to place buy and sell orders. To place a trade in Thinkorswim, you'll want to start with the Trade tab here in the upper left corner. As you get more familiar with the system, you'll find that there are other ways to submit orders, but the Trade tab is your main way. Once you click there, you'll find a symbol box appear, and you'll begin by typing the stock ticker symbol that you wish to trade. Let's go ahead and type Bank of America, symbol BAC, and you'll find that there are several key pieces of information that appear below under the word underlying. Let's quickly review what these terms mean. The last trade tells us the last price at which Bank of America traded. The net change shows us how far up or down this last trade is from the previous session's closing price. Right now, Bank of America is trading for $35.15, down $2.33. The bid and the ask show us limit prices from market makers or retail customers, Specifically, the bid price shows us the highest price at which someone is willing to buy, and the asking price shows us the lowest price for which someone will sell. This is important to understand in Thinkorswim because you will generate buy orders by clicking on the asking price, and sell orders by clicking on the bid price, and effectively taking the opposite side to those transactions. The size is always reported as a pair of numbers, the first number corresponds to the bid, the second number to the ask. This shows us how many round lots of 100 shares there are at each price. Right now the size is 41 by 8, so we know that there are 4,100 shares available 
at this bid price and 800 shares available at the asking price. The volume shows us how many shares have been traded today. The opening price shows us where the stock opened for trading and the high and the low show us the highest and lowest prices so far for today. Let's assume you want to buy 100 shares of Bank of America. As stated before, you will start by clicking on the asking price and down below in the order entry tools, you'll see your order here highlighted in green, just designating that it is a buy order. Notice the key pieces of information we talked about earlier in the video. Here is the side of the market we're on, the quantity or the number of shares, the limit or market price, and our time and force. We can change any of these fields right here from the order. For instance, if I want to change it to a sell order, I do so on the side. Thinkorswim highlights it in red to give us a visual reminder that that is a sell order. Let's change it back to a buy. Number of shares defaults to 100 shares. I can increase or decrease the number of shares. Thinkorswim is counting by 100 shares each time. Let's bring it back down to 100 shares. I can change these defaults by going to the setup menu here. A lot of different things we can change for defaults in this platform. But right here in the center, default stock order quantity is 100. Stock order quantity increment is 100. So I can change those defaults to anything that I'd like. Over here on the right is the price field. Thinkorswim defaults to a limit order. And specifically, it allows this limit order to float and track this current asking price. And that's done just so that while you're making changes down here, when you submit the order, that your limit price closely matches the current asking price. That's a condition called a marketable limit order. If there is a specific price you have in mind, you can lock on it by clicking on this green lock and it will change to red. Right now I have a price of 3482 locked in. No matter what happens up here on this asking price, that price is locked. I can also lock in a price by toggling up or down or left mouse clicking and swiping in that field and typing it from the keyboard. Let's say I want to place an order to buy shares for 34. I'll type it directly from the keyboard. I now have a limit order to buy for $34 good for the day. This means that this order can only be filled if it is for $34 or less. If it is not done so by the end of the day, the order will be canceled. If I'd like to change it to a good till canceled under the rules, click on this blue arrow and here in the center, time and force day, good till canceled and extended hours. Click on good till canceled and then OK. Now, if the order is not filled for $34 or lower today, it will automatically renew itself for tomorrow's trading session. And it will continue to do this until the order is filled or until I cancel it. If I want to ensure that the trade is filled, I can change under the order menu here, change the order to a market order. Thinkorswim eliminates the limit order and replaces it with a dash in the letters MKT, letting you know that it is a market order. Bear in mind that if you submit a market order, it has to be a day order. And that will always be the default, but right now we've changed it to good till canceled. So let's go back and change it to a day order. If you try to submit a market order good till canceled, you will get an error message. And the reason is a market order is guaranteed to fill. There would be no reason for it to roll over to another trading day. Once we have the order the way we want it, we click on confirm and send and we get the order confirmation dialog box. Here's our order description cost of trade, including commission. And if the order looks okay, we can click on send. If we'd like to change any part of the order, we can do so by clicking on edit. It will take us back to the previous screen. Let's go ahead and click on send and watch just how fast a market order will fill. And there you go. Bought hundred shares, Bank of America at market. And that is shown in the message center up here. So placing buy and sell orders is just that fast and easy in think or swim. If you are interested in advanced training on think or swim, please visit www.optionsa2z.com. I have a five week think or swim training class. A recorded video of each session will be emailed to you immediately following each class for you to review. 
you'll also receive free Thinkorswim video updates. If you have questions, please email bill at optionsa2z.com. I hope you've enjoyed the video and now understand how to place buy and sell orders in Thinkorswim.